Welcome to uh, this game, I'm Dan! I'm playing the third round of this friendly tournament of M13 Sealed. And I won one, somehow. Seems people are quitting all around. So what does it take to actually get some prizes? Let's check it out. I'm hunting bigger game, I'm hunting with ambition. So I get a prize for one win. Wow. Okay. Are there as many prizes in the friendly events as in the other events? I'm not sure. I should know. Okay, I'm playing against Runery. And I'm keeping this. He mulligans to six because he hasn't read the article. I am getting uh, convinced that uh, Gorgol Sentinel is pretty bad. But he's my Gorgol Sentinel. Red white should be very violent. It's the kaboomist. So you get at least one from him, right? Okay, so let's hope he doesn't. Let's hope he dies. That's what I'm hoping for. Die kaboomist. And we note that uh, Crippling Fatigue doesn't kill the Kaboomist. And he lives. Pretty bad for me. So will he kill the Bronze Able? He will not. Maybe he will. Let's attack and find out. Should have played the land <laughs> for Necrobite. God, why didn't I? <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Well played. Oh, I'm sure I have something better to save. <laughs> I actually say, should I have saved the Bronze Sable there? Mr. Rough Rider, yeah, ride those rough things. Well, Crippling Blight should have been something else. Hard to use the Necrobite here on, on open mana, against open mana. But now, of course, I'm using it. No, the pain. He only has three cards left. And now I'm gonna start dropping important guys. Like Mr. Shadow Cloak. Who will have a real hard time getting past the Rough Rider. Ah, uh, Mr. Juggernaut can't be blocked by walls, but hey, and uh, he is not a wall actually. He is an artifact creature gargoyle, so he should be able to block. Interesting. So I'm now convoking with um, the vampire. Can't be blocked by walls. This guy is not a wall. Should 
Should work, shouldn't it? I want my Doom engine. Okay, this guy is red white and he's playing Juggernaut and has a lightning strike. So it's time. I block because I'm not a wall. Haha! <laughs> I feel so clever right now. Best wall ever is not a wall. Midnight Guard. Yeah, that's pretty rough on me. So I pay two life and attack. And here is the... Okay, I could have Crippling Blighted as well to prevent the dub. No, I couldn't. Oh, I could have gotten a 2 for 1 there, but I think getting a Doom Engine into play is always good. Of course. Okay, I should auto yield to that. I, I have no idea how you assign damage in this client, so that will be interesting. If I Crippling Blight the Rough Rider, he can't block the Vampire. But of course he's playing something now. Battle Mastery. So he has Double Strike. Um, that seems like a good reason to uh, Crippling Blight him. And now nobody can block the, the Doom Engine, so I can just swing with it now and then swing with the Vampire next turn. Is that chicken? No, I think it's... Oh, the Vampire doesn't do anything, really. Yeah, let's attack with both. On defense, I mean. Oh, can't block, of course. I should have attacked with the... Oh, okay. And then I play the Necromancer's Assistant. See if I get the soul. And I don't. But Scuttling Doom Engine is uh, doing its thing. Okay, go away, Crippling Blight. Come in, Ulcerate. <sighs> what about the Tyrant Machine? He is using Double Strike enchantments and stuff. So I think this is the deck. What about the Meteorite? Yeah, I'm playing it over the Golem again. So I need to fear Kaboomist, Juggernaut and Lightning Strike. And I'm fearing them, trust me. I live in constant fear of those cards. So I need to win these two remaining matches to gain three boosters instead of two. And if I play the competitive event... Friendly sealed, competitive sealed... I get two wins for... five for three wins. Looks like more packs, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, I'm definitely keeping this. And uh, yep, priority received. That's so interesting. So the kaboom is the ulcerate, right? Because I don't want him to. Have... Oh, and he has the machine. The machine. Uh, seems very slow. So let's see if it's any good. I'll go for my fountain now. And I don't have anything to cast. Mr. Rough Rider. So I wait for something to... For him to enchant it now, before I alter it. So is there something that gives them indestructible or something like that? Uh, in that case I really screwed up. Uh, indestructible doesn't help, so... Let's just kill it and hope it plays a 2-8 creature that I can stab wound. Scapyard Mongrel looks like a stab wound target to me, but he's still gonna do 3 every turn. Uh, but the soul of New Phyrexia can block him, so let's do it. Except that the Solar New Frix. Oh, he can. He can. Somebody can block it with his ability. Ouch. That sucks. So I'm now in trouble, but the vampire can deal with him. But it's surely gonna get tapped down. Or lightning struck. He still has four cards. Maybe they are all. Maybe they are all um, combo tricks. Just tap attack seems easy enough, but he doesn't. So I uh, call his bluff. Yeah, crowd's favor. And five, no, three damage to me. Here is someone who's going to get tapped down. It would have sucked if he crowds favored against the soul. It's hard to find space for Necrobite. Uh, I am gonna block. Feel free to do your combat tricks. If your plan is scrap your mongrel, lots of combat tricks. Your plan is going to succeed. Plus one, plus one, and has haste. Oh, can't block this turn. Pretty bad. So I take it, and now I'm in trouble. Lots and lots of trouble. Kaboomist. I am a bit worried.
Vampire. Just tap, tap, and I'm gone. That's all he needs to do. The first landmine doesn't do anything now. But the Kaboomist lives. And if he gets through one damage here, I actually die next turn. So he's tapping something. I actually die right now, right? Yeah, I do. I don't even live to see next turn. So I block. But he tapped the wrong land, so he can't kill me this turn. Oh, whew. so many combat tricks. Yeah, he's at twenty two. I don't think the Crippling Blights does anything, so uh, let's move on to the third game. So if I lose here, it doesn't matter if I get one or two wins. No, it doesn't. So I just uh, stay in this tournament, concede. And get the two boosters and play another one. Yep, that's the plan. I don't want to play first. I don't want to mulligan. I'm playing some questionable cards like the Tyrant's Machine. Keep. So Sable, well, he doesn't have a 2-drop. Sable, meet Forge Devil. Ah! Oh! Do I even play the Tyrant's Machine or do I keep Necrobite mana open? I need him to lightning strike here so I can play the tormentor. Yeah, I think I'm going for the necrobite thing. With the risk of getting two for one. Oh, wait a minute, I don't need to get two for one. I can just block and then make him cast the first trick. I just take this and he does it. So I do Necrobite. And not a lot happens. And now I can stab wound that thing and I think I am doing that. And swinging! So I should probably play the vampire first to get the lightning strike out of his hand. Because he's not gonna lightning strike this guy. Two two flying first strike. Whoa! Three three haste!
think I'm still playing the vampire. And there is my tap down mana in case I should need it. He only has five cards. Vampire! He is flying first strike, so I can't block really. But he needs to get rid of the... Oh! 5-5 five, five Vigilance! The Tyrant's uh, machine seems pretty good here. Yeah. Right, I'm tapping him down in his turn. No. I'm not, I have to tap him down now. I just hit him for six. But then it can attack me next turn. So that wasn't the brightest move. Oh my god, what did I just do? Okay, we do it on his turn instead. Pretty bad. Scrapyard Mongrel. And now I locked myself out of the griffin thing. No, I have to get the 9 mana to do it. And I have to block the mongrel. Even if it hurts. So let's check that I have... A stop there, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it never gets any easier, does it? And I definitely have to trade here. But he doesn't attack because he can use the Pyromancer next turn. So what if I attack? So standing around here doesn't do anything, but he will still kill- next turn I can block with two guys. So I do attack. Him. And he blocks, but he has a combat trick. No he doesn't. Borderland Marauder. Wow, he can actually kill me? Generator Servant. Interesting dilemma. I can't do anything. I have to play the the tormentor.
But it is not as magnificent a bomb as Chandra. So I'm taking... I'm dying here. Yeah, I'm dead. Darn it! Uh, okay. All my walls! And haste. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still dead. I think I misplayed this somewhere. What a shame! But he didn't attack with the Siege Dragon. So what happens now? Okay, they still kill me this turn. Well, uh, no, they don't. So I can swing. I do five. Siege Dragon does two damage to each creature without flying, but that doesn't affect me. So I play this. I can also ulcerate the Siege Dragon, going to 2 to 4 life. And if he swings, he will do a 6. So I have to attack. And he blocks. I ulcerate him. Going to four. And I can tap down the Razor Foot Griffin. He does one damage and he has a lightning strike. Well, that's it for that tournament. Thank you for watching.